Have you ever wondered what a sonic boom is? No, I'm not talking about this guy. Sonic boom, a term you might have heard in passing or perhaps in a science fiction movie, is not a figment of imagination, but a real fascinating phenomenon of our physical world. The sonic boom is an intriguing mystery centered around the concept of the sound barrier. What is this sound barrier, you may ask? Imagine a runner on a track. As they start to sprint, they push through the air, creating waves. Now what if this runner could run so fast they outpace these waves? This is the crux of the sound barrier mystery. When an object moves faster than the speed of sound, it generates a sonic boom. This phenomenon is not a one-time occurrence, but rather a continuous effect that happens as long as the object maintains a speed greater than sound. But the story doesn't stop here. The speed of sound isn't a fixed number. It varies depending on the medium it's traveling through. For instance, sound moves faster in water than in air, and even faster in solid materials like steel. This implies that sonic booms are not exclusive to sound traveling in air. They can occur in any medium be it air, water, or steel, as long as the object in motion is moving faster than the speed of sound in that specific medium. So, a sonic boom is not just a loud bang that we hear when a jet flies overhead at supersonic speed. It's a complex phenomenon that breaks the rules we know about the speed of movement. It's a testament to the fact that in the realm of physics, there's always more than meets the eye. So a sonic boom, in essence, is the sound equivalent of creating waves in a pond. But how does this happen? Let's delve deeper. Imagine a plane flying at the speed of sound. What happens next is truly fascinating. As the plane speeds up, it begins to push against air molecules with such force that it creates pressure waves, much like the waves created by a boat moving through water. However, unlike a boat, a plane can go so fast that these pressure waves don't have time to get out of each other's way. They begin to pile up, merge, and compress, forming what we call shock waves. These shock waves are like invisible walls of sound pressure, and they move in a cone shape, extending outwards and backwards from the point where the plane first broke the sound barrier. This is where the magic happens. This is where the birth of a sonic boom takes place. Now imagine you're standing on the ground, watching this plane in the sky. You can't see the shock waves but they're rushing towards you at the speed of sound, which is roughly 760 miles per hour. Suddenly, they hit you. That's when you hear the sonic boom. But here's a twist. You don't just hear one boom, you hear two. This is known as the double boom effect. The first boom is created when the plane breaks the sound barrier and the nose of the plane pushes through the air. The second boom follows almost immediately after, created by the tail of the plane. To your ears on the ground, these two booms happen so close together that they might sound like one long, drawn-out boom. So, you see, the birth of a sonic boom is a fascinating dance of physics. It's the result of an object pushing against air molecules, creating pressure waves that pile up, merge, and form shock waves, which then race to the ground, causing a sonic boom that we can hear. But don't think sonic booms are limited to just planes. Any object exceeding the speed of sound can cause a sonic boom. Whether it's a bullet fired from a gun, a rocket launching into space, or even a whip cracking, when an object breaks the sound barrier, it creates a sonic boom. If you ever heard a sonic boom, it might sound like an explosion, but in reality, it's just sound playing tricks on you. They can be perceived as an explosion, but this is due to a sudden change in pressure rather than any actual explosive event. The sound of a sonic boom, however, can vary greatly. This is primarily due to two factors, distance from the source and atmospheric conditions. The further away you are from the source of the sonic boom, the less intense the sound will be. This is due to the dispersal of the shock wave over a larger area. Atmospheric conditions also play a crucial role in how we perceive sonic booms. Temperature, humidity and wind direction can all affect the propagation of the sound waves. For instance, on a hot, dry day, the sonic boom might be louder and sharper compared to a humid day when the sound waves are absorbed more by the air. So, the closer you get to the sonic boom, the louder the waves become. You might be concerned about the pilot's eardrums. However, in reality, the pilot would never be able to hear the sonic boom created by their aircraft. This is because their aircraft travels faster than the sonic boom, and thus the sound is not fast enough to reach the pilot's ears. 
So why does a sonic boom create this weird pattern around the aircraft? Well, it actually has nothing to do with the sonic boom. This is caused by a rapid change in air pressure, which results in a significant drop in temperature behind the aircraft, causing water vapor in the air to undergo rapid condensation. This phenomenon can also occur at lower aircraft velocities. So sonic booms can indeed be quite a spectacle, both in the sky and on the ground. So, sonic booms are fascinating, but are they harmful? You might wonder, as the thunderous sound echoes through the sky, shaking your windows and possibly even your nerves. Well, let's delve into that. Sonic booms, while they can be quite startling, are not typically harmful to humans. They are essentially sound waves, much like the music you listen to or the words you speak. But these are sound waves on steroids produced by an object moving faster than the speed of sound. Despite their power, sonic booms don't pack enough punch to cause physical harm under normal circumstances. You see, when a sonic boom reaches your ears, it has already spread out over a large area, diluting its intensity. Sure, they can rattle your windows and might even knock over a precariously balanced vase, but they won't tear down your house or cause your eardrums to explode. However, the real impact of sonic booms is more about the nuisance they cause. The sudden loud noise can startle wildlife, disrupt sleep, and generally cause a bit of a ruckus. It's for this reason that supersonic flight over land is often restricted to keep our peace and tranquility intact. So next time you hear a thunderous sound in the sky, remember it might just be a sonic boom, a fascinating testament to the powers of physics. That's all for today, folks. For more brain-boosting content, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.